Hello, my name is Nala Johnson. It is so wonderful to meet you. Thank you for coming to shadow me today. Um, so I'm just here to give you an outline of skills, education, and experiences that are needed for different jobs in the professional marketing industry. So I did put together a couple of notes that I want to of things I want to point out to you to um, make sure that I gave you a clear understanding of what we do in this job. Okay, so I'm just going to start with techniques we use to obtain work experiences. Um, we train our employees for the job. We train them about their safety, make sure that they are safe on the job, and we train them to follow policies while on the job. Um, we also set requirements for employees before they are hired. We set educational requirements, making sure you have a certain grade point average. We make sure you have certain behavioral aspects of your Self. Um, we do background checks and we make sure you have no issues with the law or anything of that such that can reflect poorly on our company. Um, there is a need for ongoing education as a worker because the knowledge that you learn from school can be used while in the workplace or can be used as a backup plan if the job doesn't work for you. Also, we have a lot of staff meetings, so employee, all employees are expected to be engaged and participate in these staff meetings. So the knowledge that you have, have from school can be um, helpful in the discussions that we have. Um, in order to advance the quality of the job, we make sure that our employees are safe in this work environment. We make sure that it's a positive work environment that there aren't any dangers or dangers physically or mentally that are in this work environment. Um, we do this by having individual meetings with each employee just to talk to them, see where their minds are at, see, see things that we can change, things that we're doing right and things of that such. Or we distribute um, surveys just to ask some questions about things that are going on in the environment. And we love when our employees come to us with um, things that we can change, come to us about opinions that they have about different things in the environment. Um, it is our responsibility to make sure that you guys are safe when you are on the job. And so in order for that, we just try to keep a good relationship with our employees. Um, Employees should continue to pursue professional development because it allows them to grow responsibly while in the workplace and as a citizen. Um, pursuing professional development makes you a successful in the future. It can open doors to other opportunities. So uh, since you are in high school, you probably don't know what professional development is. So professional development is simply Learning to earn or maintain professional credentials, such as academic prospects that you have, um, extracurricular that you're involved in around the city or at school, things of that such. Um, things that can be useful to us as a business. Um, <clears throat> some companies offer to pay for unprofessional development because, like everything, it does cost money. The training does cost money. And it we pay for it because it is our responsibility, technically, to make sure that you know what to do while on the job, that you know our um, priorities, that you know our policies that we have set in place for you to be safe and make sure that our job jobs flow smoothly as the day goes on. <clears throat> um, so, um, so these are a couple skills that I have. I just thought of off the top of my head. Um, that are needed for you to be successful and make sure that your job does go smoothly throughout the day. Um, responsibility. You need to be able to do your job in a timely manner, do the things that we assign, because you some days you'll have piles of assignments, some weeks you'll have piles of assignments that's due the next week. And we have plenty of deadlines, so you need to be able to know how to spread these assignments around to make sure they all get done correctly in a timely manner and that they all get turned in by a certain amount of time. It's simply like an assignment from school. You have a lot of assignments that you need to turn in on time. 
So just like that, you need has a lot of assignments that you need to turn in on time in order for our job to work. Um, the second one is you need to be able to work with others. You need to be able to talk to people. You need to be able to communicate well with others. You need to be able to take opinions from others. You might not agree with everything that everybody has to say, but you need to be able to take what they say into consideration. Um, the next is take criticism. Since you will be new on the job, you might, something that you do might not be up to par with what I want or what other partners want or what um, our employees who have been here for a while may want. So you need to be able to take the criticism that they give you on your job and take them into consideration, put them in place, um, implement them every day that you go to make you better as an employee. Um, take initiative. You need to be a leader. You need to be able to say, I'm going to do this because that shows us what kind of person you are. It shows us what you can handle, what things you can't handle. Um, you need to carry your own weight. You need to be able to do your job. You can't expect others to do your job for you. We are, we work because everybody has a specific thing and we each person does what they're meant to do. Um, company policies. Identify generally company rules. Um, usually our company policies are more general than specific because most of the, most of it is common sense. You know, not to horseplay while on the job. You know, to use appropriate language and talk about appropriate things while on the job. You know, things of that such. Um, and usually our company policies just relate to our overall vision of our company. Um, some people are naturally business oriented. Some people are born to run a business, born to take initiative and do their job correctly. But some people, they need extra training and extra motivation in order to do their job correctly, be very successful up to par to what we want as an employee. Um, mm hmm as a high school student, you are legally able to work at plenty of jobs around the city of Memphis. Um, you're able to, so you should know how to act on a job. So you having uh, previous job experiences, it's just a bonus. It shows what we need to teach you and what we don't need to teach you. Um, if you come in as someone who doesn't have previous um, work experience, that is fine. Also, that just shows that you need more motivation, you need more training because you haven't been in a work environment. But those who have been in a work environment, we're just able to point out easier what you, we need to teach you, what we need to impl teach you more about, and what we what you have down pat, what you know. Um, extracurriculars. Even though we are a marketing firm, sports, debate team, um, DECA, things of that such, it just shows that you have experience working with a team. It shows that you have experience working with others as well, taking opinions from others, taking knowledge from other people and putting it all together. Um, people who have experience working in a team react to different situations differently than other people who may work by themselves or aren't well with others. Um, and to end this, you have to have a good reputation um, outside the job because before you e you're even able to be taken into consideration, you need to be able to apply. And on the application, you need recommendations. It is formal to not use people who might be biased, such as family or friends or anybody of that such. Um, you need to use people such as teachers, mentors, administrators, previous job managers, things of that such of people who don't have to be biased against you. Um, so that is all the things that I have put together today to point out to you. Thank you so much for giving me your time. It was very nice to meet you and I hope that you take this job into consideration. Thank you and have a good day.